Good morning, friends. I just made this beautiful loaf of sourdough bread. This is the best loaf I've made ever. I've impressed myself. Anyway, I hope it tastes good, and I hope it's done. It's still hot. So anyway, this morning I wanted to make some seitan um, vegetable protein meat replacement. For those of you that don't know what seitan is, it's spelled S-E-I-T-A-N. And um, vegans and vegetarians eat that for protein. So anyway, it's going to be made with gluten flour. But I wanted to show you here um, a couple things I'm adding. So to the seitan, I'm adding some a couple tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And I'm adding protein, um, I'm adding pea protein powder. And the reason I'm adding this is, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has 24 grams of protein in it. And it has some calcium and some iron and no, uh, hardly any fat, 3 grams. And does have some sodium in it. But anyway, I'm adding that to my seitan. And I'm also adding this soy protein to up the protein content. And you probably can't see this, but this is 18 grams of protein. And um, let's see, what else does it have? More iron, 2 milligrams of iron. It also has a little sodium. But I'm mainly adding these for the protein content and the nutritional yeast for the B vitamins. So I'll get back to you in a second. I want to make a ham flavored seitan because I want something for sandwiches to go with my bread. So this is what I'm going to put in my um, seitan. I've got my nutritional yeast here. I've got a mix of spices. There's about a heaping teaspoon of uh, onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic salt, about a quarter teaspoon of uh, black pepper. I've got my soy protein powder, and there's a couple of tablespoons of that. And my pea protein powder, a couple tablespoons of that. I've got half a cup of pickled beet juice and about, oh, a third of a cup, a quarter of a cup, whatever you like, of um, sweet pepper strips. And those were uh, marinated as well because I have several jars of these. I want to use them up. And then I'm going to put in some of this pecan liquid smoke. And then I'm going to use up the rest of this vegan ham base. And that's by uh, Corrington Farms. And you can get that on Amazon. And it's vegan, so there's about a tablespoon of that in there. So I'm going to put all those, all those seasonings in the blender. So in goes the ham seasoning. And in goes the other three, garlic, onion, and pepper. And then I'm going to put in, oh, about half a teaspoon of the liquid smoke to, to taste, actually. If you like it real smoky, you can put in more. And then I'm going to add the peppers. And I think I'm going to have to... Come back. All right, so I have my liquids here, including my peppers. So I'm going to blend those up. I'll do that off camera. It's too loud. And I'm going to add my nutritional yeast. This is about one cup of vital wheat gluten. And I'm going to put my pea protein powder in there. my soy protein powder 
and I'm going to give that a good mix. You want to incorporate all these things before you add your liquids so you don't get any hot spots. You want to make sure it's well incorporated. So just give that a good mix. And for those of you that are meat eaters, you might want to think if you're also a prepper person, you might want to think about keeping some vital weak gluten on hand in some of these other products because if meat is hard to come by or you can't afford it or you know whatever your circumstances are if you keep this on hand you can always make yourself a good protein source okay so that's all blended now I'm going to blend up my liquids and um, add those another thing I wanted to mention is I added a teaspoon of agar agar powder um, not the flakes but the powder because I want this to be a firm seitan I don't want it to be mushy or anything like that because I want it to have the texture of ham so I put a teaspoon of that in with the dry ingredients and I mix that up as well the agar powder you can either get at your Asian market or you can get it online at, uh, on Amazon. I've gotten it both places. And so here now I have my dry ingredients and I have my wet ingredients. And it's all blended up smoothly. And I'm going to add the two together and I'm going to have to readjust my camera here and show you what this looks like. All right, I made a little well here. I got a more shallow bowl. Made a little well here in my ingredients. Now I'm going to put my wet ingredients in with the dry ingredients. Now you're going to want to mix this up fairly quickly because um, this gluten flour is like a sponge. Now what gluten flour is, for those of you that don't know, it's the um, gluten that's in the flour of just regular flour and it's the same gluten that you use in bread and it makes it um, develop strands and it's very high in protein so I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to use my hands and my hands are clean but I just want to get this mixed up a little bit now depending on on the humidity and everything sometimes you may add to neat need to add a little bit more liquid in which case I have a little bit more uh, pickled beet juice but if you don't have that you can add water so I'm going to mix this now with my hands and it's not the kind of flour like with bread where it'll stick to your hands it's um it has a very strange consistency but I'm going to mix this up and see if I need to add anything else. But right now it's looking pretty good. But I still have some flour in there that needs to be incorporated. Now I have a dough mixing machine that I'm going to put this in. Because you want to mix this for about... Oh, a good 10 minutes because the longer you mix this it develops the gluten strands the denser the meat will be so if you're making uh, trying to make a steak or um, anything like that you want it to have a, a, a denser consistency and I've made corned beef out of this before where I've put it in the dough machine and kneaded it for a good 10 minutes you can use your food processor um, or you can knead it by hand if you don't have anything else so this is this is looking pretty good and you'll see it starts to look kind of like a brain and all the um, everything gets soaked up into it so I'm going to mix this just a little bit longer to get everything incorporated and then I'm going to put it in my bread machine. Oh, you can use your bread machine too. I'm not putting it in the bread machine. I'm putting it in my dough machine. And actually this dough machine that I have, you can't, I don't think you can buy them anymore. I've had it for years and years and years. And I make cookie dough out of it and all kinds of different things. So anyway, this is sort of the consistency of it. 
And you can see the strands starting to develop. And the more you knead it, the more those strands will develop. So anyway, I'll be back and I'll show you the bread machine or the, the bread kneading machine that I have. And then I'll uh, knead this and continue with the process. I wanted to share this with you too. I made some uh, iced tea and I have a video about that, how I make my uh, herbal iced tea. But this is, uh, it's an organic tea. It's called Numi. And I got this at, um, I believe, Earth Balance, or not Earth Balance. Anyway, um, I got this at one of our local um, stores. And it's turmeric, three roots. And it has ginger and licorice and rose. And it is really good. I made a tea uh, last night, and it's very refreshing. And I made it with that, and I put some pomegranate blueberry acai and fennel, about, oh, a tablespoon of just loose fennel, and some um, hibiscus red tea. And I let that steep overnight. Oh my gosh, is it tasty. It's very, very refreshing. So anyway, I'm having a little tea, and I'm going to get to mixing my seitan. So this is my dough maker, and it's by Well Built. I looked on Amazon, and they don't make these anymore that I could tell. But that's the name of it. It's called Dough Maker. And it has uh, different settings on it. Uh, you can make uh, mixing, pasta, pastry, different things. So anyway, but go ahead and use your food processor. It works just as well. I have my seitan in here, and I'm going to mix this now for uh, 10 minutes or so. And then I'm going to let the seitan rest and then um, for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to steam it, and I'll be back. Okay, so my dough's done mixing, and it kind of looks like a brain. Um, it's a soft dough. It has the consistency of, of like a new Play-Doh, you know how Play-Doh kind of feels. It doesn't stick, and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to let this rest for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to show you the rest of the process. All right, we're back. So here is my seitan. Now what I'm going to do is, because I want to use this as a lunch meat, I'm going to form it into a roll. And I don't want it too, too skinny. I want it a little fatter. Because this is going to expand a little bit, but not too much because I'm going to wrap it fairly tight. And I have here a piece of parchment paper and a piece of aluminum foil. So this is my little sausage roll, not too big. Now this is only one, you know, if you can you can double or triple this recipe. Um, it's a new recipe for me. Um, I've never tried it with the, the pea and the um, soy protein. So I didn't want to make too big a batch in case it's a flop. But anyway, you want to wrap it fairly tight, first in the parchment paper. Now, if, if you're not worried about foil and food, you don't have to wrap it in the parchment paper, but I don't like my food touching the foil. So I'm going to just twist it like a candy. And if you decide to wrap just with foil, make sure you wrap it fairly tight because it does expand. This kind of keeps it more dense um, so it doesn't expand too much because I'm going to steam this now. So now I'm going to wrap it in the foil too. And hopefully this will turn out to be delicious. If it's not, then... I'll probably still post the recipe, and I'll tell you what I would do differently the next time. So 
So I've got a nice tightly wrapped sausage. And you could actually make um, smaller sausages out of this if you wanted to make like a, um, you know, a, a, a sausage. So anyway, but I don't know. You know, you can taste your liquid to see what seasonings that you like and adjust it. You don't have to use what I used. So anyway, here's my little sausage. And I'm going to steam this now for about an hour. And I have this, I can bring it over here, sorry. I have this steamer that I bought years ago too. And uh, it's got the basket. Hopefully you can see that. It's got the basket and everything in here. And it's also a rice steamer, but I don't need it don't need the rice insert. So, and the water is down in here. So anyway, I'm just going to put my little sausage in there. And I'm going to put the cover on. And I'm going to steam this for about an hour. And I'll be back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished with it. Okay, my sausage is done. It's cooled off a little bit, but still needs to be refrigerated. So I'm going to unwrap this and show you what it looks like. And give it a little taste. It's still pretty warm. And this has to set up a little. It's nice and firm, and kneading the seitan for a while will do that. If you want a nice, soft piece of seitan, then um, you don't need it as much. You don't wrap it as tight. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut a little piece here and, and see what it's like. You can see it's not red anymore. It's hard to get um, seitan to stay red. It just naturally turns kind of brown as you cook it. But anyway, so I'll give this a little taste and see. Like I said, I want this for a sandwich. I want to make it with my sourdough bread. But it has almost the, the texture of a, um, of a hot dog or a sausage or, you know, so anyway, I will give it a taste. Let me turn my little camera around here so you can see me. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Sorry about that. This way. Okay, I'll just do it like this. Do it like a selfie. There we go. Hi. <laughs> hmm. It's good. doesn't taste exactly like ham, but it won't because it's not meat. But I think it'll be, it has a ham-like flavor, and I think it'll be very tasty on, on my bread. So I'm going to go ahead and make a sandwich and see what that's like. just wanted to show you this bread, what a nice texture it is. This is the best loaf that I've made yet. I made this one with bread flour instead of regular flour. And I used my sourdough recipe 
that I have in, in a different uh, video. So check that out if you want to learn how to make sourdough bread. So there you have it, folks. Completely homemade sandwich meal. Vegan sandwich. The bread's vegan. The ham is vegan. Vegan cheese. I do have mayo on here that isn't vegan, but, you know, you can get your own mayo. And some homemade herbal tea with turmeric in it. And this, this stuff, I'm impressed. It's really, really good. So, there you go. This meal, I didn't go buy anything extra. It was all made from things I already had on hand. So, you can save a lot of money cooking at home with what you've got. All right, my friends, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Please subscribe, like, and share. Helps my channel grow. All right, see you next time.